to it. Good. Okay, mm -hmm. so this will be the second orthoplastic uh, uh, frame assembly. Imagine that you have a distal uh, diaphyseal segment. It could be an infected area. It could be a sarcoma uh, of any type. Anything post-traumatic that have really destroyed the, uh, this area. Well, osteotomy is, is performed proximally at the metaphyseal diaphyseal junction. And as you guys can see, this segment will be displaced distally, and this is what is called a bone transport. Once this segment, the transport side, touch or duck into the distal area, then your distraction of this area will have occurred completely. It's a very simple frame. It's also, it's four uh, rings, um, including the, uh, the foot support, proximal, two wires, one on top and one below, a half pin, half pin on this segment. Once this segment does the docking, this could be replaced to a transosseous wire. And then on top, uh, also a wire on the tibia and then a tibiofibular wire in both sides. Uh, this is just a sawbone demonstration and a half pin could be placed on the midfoot, although very important, two wires in the calcaneus that are opposing olive wire. You can add, if it's a bone transport, the length of the extremity is, is always maintained. It's not a problem, but these rockers could be very beneficial on the other frame construct that I built because you're shortening that area while you have to relengthen. So in the uh, shortening with relengthening, the rockers are needed. Here, of course, you can also use them, but in the other one, definitely it's gonna be a limb length discrepancy during the process.